The other alternative, and I want to be very clear that we were, we, you know, none of the elected officials in the room indicated that they, they uh, knew whether they would support this, but we did ask to, to find out if they had more frequent total weekend shutdowns, which obviously would be a greater inconvenience to people who ride on the weekend, A, how much shorter would that make the job? Would there be a real benefit? And B, could they give us the ridership figures for the weekend so we knew just how many people were going to be involved in that? So we could at least get back to all of you and ask whether or not that was a better alternative than letting the project go on for two years and three months or whatever it's now projected to. Uh, the last thing, and this is MTA speed. They said that their statistics show that as this job has continued, as they've gotten through the transition period and people understand what's happening now and whatnot, time delays have been significantly reduced. So, you know, I am always skeptical of the NTA, although I think they were there in good faith today. I'm always skeptical. And I'm not going to stand up here and tell you that up is down, but down is up. So I want to see those statistics. And we will see whether or not, in fact, the problem is getting better. Now, as they say it is, doesn't mean that it is. But if it is, maybe we don't need to do some of the more severe things. And that would certainly be something I'd want to know before I even entertain weekend service delays. Because that is not something that excites me, because, I, you know, Having followed a caravan of buses up Ocean Avenue on one of those one of those few weekend uh, shutdowns that they had, uh, it was not only inconvenient, I'm sure, for the people who had to get off the train onto the buses. Instead, it was also inconvenient for everyone who had to deal with the traffic congestion that it caused. So that's <coughs> the B train. Um, I'm going to pass to Assemblyman Maisel on the city planning hearing, as uh, as you know, because you're there. Uh, I actually woke up on Thursday morning with food poisoning. When I have a stomach problem, folks, that's no small matter. And uh, I was not able to go to that meeting, even though I had set it up. Uh, and so I would rather Assemblyman Maisel or, or Terry Scavo, who were, who were there, report on that uh, for me. Um, uh, I will tell you that the meeting, from what I got, took a direction that was a little different than I intended, which was I wanted an overview of the zoning of Garrison Beach as we had discussed at the last meeting, to see whether or not a rezoning or downzoning in this community was something that we wanted to engage. So it, was, it got a little bit more site specific than that, and uh, I'll let others speak to that. Uh, last, I just want to say uh, one word about Seabay Avenue Park, because I love nipping rumors in the butt. Um, the, the part of the, the phase two of Seabay Avenue Park that is being built next is the comfort station. It was about a year and a half ago, I came here with the design of the comfort station, brought a big picture, I left it with somebody, and we talked about the comfort station. So that's what's being built in the short term. The next phase, which I provided funding for, is in scoping and design. So if you hear some rumor that we're going to have Sesame Place here on Cedar <laughs> Avenue, and that it's going to take up part of the baseball, that's impossible. Because first of all, we're talking about a little sprinkle thing for the kiddies. All right? And second, no site has been picked. So it couldn't possibly be the case. So before anything happens, there will be a scoping meeting with the community groups. And I guarantee the property owners, GB Cares, the Little League, will all be at the table to discuss what that plan is actually going to encompass as they design it. Because I do not, under any circumstances, want to build something in your park that you do not want. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I was asked to extend the top lot. That is definitely what has been funded here. Most full top lots in the city of New York, you know, the ones that they call grade A top lots of the Parks Department, have a small sprinkler area for the kids to run around in the hot day. You'll have the opportunity to tell me if you want that or you don't. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Yes. I just wanted to ask you about the bathrooms. Um, mm -hmm. Is there going to be a parking there at all times? The the is there going to be a, a park attendant? Um, the comfort stations, the the bathrooms will be open 
uh, at all times is my understanding with a self-locking door. 